Hello, I'm Claire and today we're going to look at bar modelling and how to solve tricky problems involving percentages. So let's have a look at the actual question. We've got a number of fans at a football match uh, and the total number is 6,348. 25% less than the number who watched last week's match. How many people watched last week's match? Now the first thing you need to check is that the children understand this is a tricky question. It's not asking us to take away 25% from the 6,348. It's actually saying that this is something that this is a number after that amount. So let's have a go at drawing that. So far I've done this week I've drawn a bar to represent this week which was 6,348 fans. There they are. So let's do last week. And the only thing I know is that they have 25% more fans. So they have a longer bar which is going to be 25% longer than the, 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 the bar I've drawn for this week. So I'm going to check that, I've done that accurately by drawing in the other 25%, so that's 50%, 75%, 100%. Now you can see quite clearly that I have got 75% of um, last week is the same as 6,348 fans because 25% obviously is the same as a quarter. So I've got three quarters of last week's fans is the same as 6,348 fans. So my next thing I need to find out is how many fans make up 25%. 25% is the same as a quarter. But I look here, I've got three quarters here. If I want to find the value of one of those quarters, I'm going to have to divide 6,348 by three. I'm going to do that using the bus stop method. So to do the bus stop method, I've got 6,348 dividing it by three. Now, I always say to children, we start by the numbers at the beginning of the queue. So I've got threes into six go twice, threes into three go once, threes into four go once remainder one, threes into 18 will go six. I now know that 25% represents 2,116 fans. And I'm going to put that onto my bar model. I'm going to take out the 25% there and show that that is now 2,116 fans. Now the question asked me, how many people watched last week's match? So now straight away, hopefully the children can see, I can either add up 2,116 four times or do a short multiplication. Um, I think the short multiplication is obviously the quickest method and you want to encourage that during SAT tests. So I've got 2116 multiplied by 4. 6 4s are 24. Once 4 is 4, add on 5 6. Once 4 is 4, 2 4s are 8. I've now got my total number of fans is 8,464 fans. And there we have it. That's how we can use bar modelling to solve more complex questions involving percentages.